you know, in this business, I'm not naive to know that that um, stretches like this and seasons like this create um, a lot of questions. And um, you know, Chris has been, you know, very upfront with me today when he when he came down to my office and um, you know what his expectations are. So, um, but you never think that. You never think that way. You never wonder. You never. You never. You know. You never dig on on stuff like change because you got a you got a full-time job yourself i mean we've got a um an organization that now needs to refine itself obviously because of the the, the massive change at the top but you know our job better be to stick to the day-to-day and what we do well did you have the support you needed from al? al was great to me you know um he was the first person that called me um and wanted me to come in for an interview um and at a time where you know, I was on the outside of the sport looking in. Um, that meant the world to me, you know. So I, that, that support is more than any support, you know, a man's ever going to need. Um, and obviously we worked, you know, tirelessly to try to um, to move the ball forward and and, um, and get the organization going forward. Last year we had a little bit more momentum. This year we've hit a roadblock. But, um, you know, Al and I communicated effectively. We... Um, interacted a ton. We bounced everything off each other. We had our, um, as every GM and manager will have their agreements, will have their disagreements. It's the the nature of the relationship. But um, I felt Al gave me his best. How does this game against him now? You know, you have a couple months where you don't be wanting to do things, see different guys. Yeah. The process, is it, is it, can you stick here now? Or is it just kind of steps in? Yeah, no, I mean, Sam was involved day to day. Uh, on all decisions before, I mean, um, I guess if there's huge disagreement, we'll go, you know, all the way to Chris. If we, if we have, you know, some sort of thing, something that comes up that that we need, you know, a, a definitive decision maker. But we've tried to make collaborative decisions on sending guys up, sending guys down, uh, moves that are made. I mean, obviously this time of year, it, there's there's not as as much. Uh, involved other than transactions that go up and down throughout the market, activating guys and optioning guys, or um, you know, I guess there'll be some curiosities on whether we purchase contracts on a couple guys, some minor league guys that we want to take looks at. But that'll be done collaboratively, from what I, you know, what Chris has asked us to do. And Sam and I have have talked as much as I, I talk to any GM or assistant GM that I that I've worked with. So I don't I don't really anticipate any hiccup in the operation because um, we'll, we'll all work. Together well. Chris talked about having to be a part of this first process of finding a new GM. Yeah. Kind of, where do you feel like the organization needs to get? You know, I mean, Chris asked me uh, about that today and talked to me about it. And, you know, obviously this organization's committed a ton to me and, and, and vice versa. And I, you know, I want to help get it right. I mean, I, I, today is another reminder that, that, you know, we haven't succeeded. You know, I mean, the deadline was one when you trade guys away and, and don't add to your team. The, um, the record reflects where we're at. And so we all feel responsible for where we're at in this organization. And we, I said at the, at the all-star break, I felt like, you know, we need to push the ball forward and, and, and move in a direction, you know, more aggressively. Um, I didn't anticipate the personnel change, but I, um, you know, I do think there's a lot of areas that we, that we can address and, and then we will address once we get our leader in charge. No, I'm the manager. Yeah, plan on being the manager. You mentioned how this is a process, obviously, fresh. Um, maybe not the kind of process you think of, but in your eyes, is this more of a, a tough day, a dark day, or is it more of a turning the page and a new chapter for the um, Well, could it be both? You know, I mean, I think in some, that it has to be. I mean, we don't make these change and then want to still kind of relive where we've been in the past. I mean, today's you know, a big challenge for the organization. And Chris has made it well known that he wants change and he wants progress. And so um, you have your personal feelings when you work with somebody so close and then you have the realistic, you know, sports business where you need to move, move things more in a positive direction and, um, and, and, you know, look at, look at yourself, look at others and, and, and make the place better. I mean, it, um, so you can, you, you can have empathy and also have, um, you know, energy and trying to trying to find solutions. That's what we're that's what we're here for. So um, our day to day has to be the same. That's why I told the players. I mean, we we have a game to play tonight. You know, the guys will be fine. I'll be fine. Al's fine. I talked to him. You know, it's um, 
in some ways baseball forgets pretty quickly. I mean, you get going and you have the next game and and you go on and move on. And um, but I've been in that chair. You know, I've been fired and watched my team play the very next day on TV, and it's different. You know, Al and I were talking about it earlier. It's um, everything's different, and so it. You know, it's the first day towards the future, and you know, kind of don't want to necessarily relive the past over and over again. It's it's time to start fresh. What's that? Yeah, so Bo is um, was a transaction today to, to go on the 60-day IL um, with the with the bicep tendonitis that he has. We're, we're gonna we're gonna shut him down for up to two weeks, and then start a throwing program, which is gonna take two to three uh, up to four weeks, and you start to get to the early part of, of September. Now you have this little week in, in that, was he going to be able to pitch around the September 10th, 11th, 12th, or was he going to, his 60 day IL date, I think is like the 15th or 16th. So we decided to be very conservative with that plan and, and, and not lose another player off the 40 man and, and be smart with, with Bo. He's reached his, I think his career high in innings. Um, we'd still like him to pitch again. Um, if, if all this resolves itself in the next month, uh, but by doing this, we don't just every day ask him how he's feeling and what we can progress. We have a definitive date that he can't come back until, and and we can make decisions accordingly. No, no. Quite honestly, I think it's the other way. I think right now it's it's all it's all positive. Um, it's hard to stay positive with the pitching injuries that we've had, but for the information that we have right now, we feel this is the best route. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good place. Detroit Tigers organization is a good place. We have a ton of opportunity. I mean, I feel like I'm going to give a speech on trying to recruit somebody over the TV, but I, you know, this is the same place that was attractive a couple of years ago when I when I came here and you. Um, you know, obviously the players, the the the, the fan base, the um, commitment from ownership, the opportunity to build um, kind of your own brand here with the with the fresh start. I mean, there's um, hopefully they like a manager in place. I mean, there's a there's a lot to, to to feature here, and to be a Detroit Tiger matters. Like it's not just taking over a record this season or last season, and um, you know whoever it is. I mean, unless it's somebody internal, will come with no. Uh, you know, sort of no baggage from the last, you know, two years when I've been here or the five years, six years, seven years, however long it's been. And that, that to me is a blank slate to, to create the opportunity that this city deserves. Is it, you guys did make good progress last season. Mm -hmm. This season, is maybe what you see affected your pace or is it kind of the pace that you're No, not at all. I, I think actually if you, you know, if we could have just had the team that we expected to have at the beginning of the season, I would have liked to take that momentum into the season we didn't um, from the very get-go and then things just progressively got worse throughout the season and there's two 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 ways of this there's the injuries and the and some underperformance and that's they, they both coincided so you can't really blame one or the other it's all excuses until you until you change your behavior and play better so I um, but my faith is has never been um, and it never wavered I mean, this is a really good place with really good players we've got a lot of work to do to get it to where we need to get to but we might not get there tomorrow, but I think we're going to get there because of the, the foundation we have now. And we're going to have to do it to prove to people because I don't, I don't think there's going to be too many people racing out to you know, project us to, uh, to take this leap forward. But, you know, again, it, it, we're going to have a, a new leader. We're going to have a new vision. We have a committed owner. We have some pieces in place that I think are going to be uh, better in the, in the coming months, into the coming years. And, um, you know, then we've got to go play the games and prove it. Yeah, well, I think for the for those of us that are here, we we we're going to be business as usual. I mean, we we're going to do the same things. I'm not I'm not going to ease off you know certain evaluations just because I you know I can't tell my future boss until I have a future boss. But I um, you know there's going to be a download for for some people whoever's added to the organization or if somebody internal gets the job. It um, it's a constant like this is a 365 day job. So this isn't one that you just turn on and turn off whether you have a perfect structure in place or whether you're in season off season at least it's how i operate it's 365 days so i um for me it doesn't change a ton it 
still focuses on today. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'll be, I'll participate in whatever Chris would like me to, to, to make this organization better. And, you know, my, my job is still to try to beat the Guardians tonight. And I've got to get these guys back to, to playing better baseball uh, before the end of the year so we can kind of rid ourselves of this bad taste we have in our mouth. Yeah. Oh, man, it's an incredible story for him. And, you know, we talk about wanting guys to earn it. Um, he's done it. I mean, you just look at the back of the baseball card. You look at what he's done to to go from um, starting out repeating double A to push his way to triple A and um, and then continue to perform and continue to hit. I mean, it it's a cool story. I mean, it, you know, when you sign as a as a late round draft pick like he did, the the road they they don't pave that road the same as they do for maybe higher draft picks. Like it's hard to get to the big leagues, and and so to see him persevere and do that, and and you know, I talked to him today. We got a, he and I already have a special little bond. You know, he lost his father a couple of years ago. I lost my dad at eighteen, and and neither of our fathers are going to get to see a major league debut. Um, but that doesn't that doesn't mean he's not proud. So I I'm rooting hard for this kid, especially tonight. His family's going to be here. His friends are here. Um, and, and, I, and, and it means something to everybody, but for those that didn't have it paved perfectly, it's, it's pretty cool.